It has become more and more the opinion of the masses that superhero movies suck now. But beyond that, when the first trailer for Blue Beetle came out, something annoyed the living hell out of me. And it was three words at the very end of the trailer. Filmed for IMAX. No, it fucking wasn't. It was filmed for Max, formerly HBO Max, the streaming service. This wasn't even going to be a real movie. <clears throat> A theatrical movie until the new and unimproved leadership at Warner Brothers thought it was good enough to release into theaters. You know, the same leadership that thought The Flash was the best thing since sliced bread? I understand that these events can be psychologically scarring. You should seek the services of a mental health professional. The Justice League is not very good at that part yet. Trust me. So, to put it nicely, my anticipation for Blue Beetle was lower than the floor. And you know what? Plot twist of the year... This movie's actually really good. Besides the surface level similarities, and there's a lot of them, this movie took me back to the late 2000s when Iron Man came out. Blue Beetle balances a lot of different genres as if the superhero genre does not yet exist. Yes, there are the traditional highs and lows of a superhero's origin story, which is very formulaic and we've seen it a million and a half times at this point, but intertwined within that, there's an origin story of one's identity. To find your own success. To find your purpose. To embrace one's family. At times, the film itself decides to throw out all the baggage of a superhero spectacle and be a light-hearted tale of perseverance within an immigrant family. I grew to love every single one of these characters because it was obvious that the film loved them just as much. Yes, there is a bunch of loud superhero action and explosions with old rock music and questionable visual effects, but everything else gives all that meaning. This movie not only belongs in the theaters, it belongs on my shelf. So I can watch it whenever I want without worrying about what kind of network issues Warner Brothers is going to have that day. Blue Beetle is what made superhero movies so enjoyable to begin with. A deeply emotional journey with a lot of laughs and a lot of fun that doesn't weigh itself down by promoting whatever film comes after it. Just like how it fought its way into theaters, it fought its way into my guarded heart and my even more guarded Amazon shopping cart. It gives me hope that superhero movies can be good again under the right direction. Not the dim-witted studio leadership that doesn't know shit from applesauce, but the people. The people who actually have stories to tell and not just overpriced tickets to sell. The universe has sent you a gift and you have to figure out what you're gonna do with it. That's my heart. One, two, three, four, three, five. Whatever you can imagine, I can create. Let's party. Uh -huh, yeah! Nice choice. I just want to Thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. My goal is to have an international group of film lovers that can come together and talk about their favorite niche in the whole wide world, movies. So without further ado, go down below and let me know what your thoughts are on the topic. I might not agree, but your opinion always matters and don't let anybody tell you otherwise.